So here we go again, guys. Avid Pro Tools 2020.12 release. Not that long ago, we got a pretty huge update. A lot of new functionalities, a theme update, this new option that allows you to take audio, convert it to MIDI. Not something new, something that you were able to do with third-party plugins, but now you can do it all inside of Pro Tools. So what enhancements do we have here? We have some audio to MIDI enhancements, some satellite administration from Pro Tools Ultimate Software, generate uh, Adobe Atmos, BWF report, carbon track presets, some bug fixes, audio to MIDI, control surface crashes and errors, more Atmos stuff, editing, export slash bounce, import, MIDI, plugins, routing and setup, user interface, and some video stuff that they fixed. One of the cool features that they did add, if we go to the workspace, now we're able to grab one of these sounds, directly drop them onto a MIDI, select the algorithm, I'm gonna automatically let Pro Tools decide. Press OK, and there you go. So really quick, we did take a look at the bug fixes. And one of the things I didn't see there is this issue that I'm having that I'm constantly running out of CPU. Now I have a pretty powerful machine and it doesn't always happen. Here's what I mean. The other day I was mixing a session, maybe 20 tracks, not a large session. Whenever I would open that session, it would tell me that I would run out of CPU. Now, if we would go to window and system usage, as you can see, I should have enough power to open a track to mix a session that has 20 tracks. On a four core machine, I've had sessions with higher track counts. Another issue that I'm having, Windows configurations. I have a mixing template that I import. And one of the options I select is to import my Windows configurations. They don't work. So I have to reassign everything. Now I think I'm doing it right. It has that option, so I'm assuming it should just work. Now if you do audio for video, this might interest you. You can now import MP4s with multiple audio tracks. Now within the Windows world, you need to install QuickTime. So it looks like you no longer need to have QuickTime installed, which is great. Routing and IO setup. Input enable states is now properly recalled for tracks receiving a signal for auxiliary output stem plugins. Fixed an issue that caused repeated dialogues, which were not dismissed in bulk when option plus clicking, the mapping to the output checkbox when outputs were not available. So I really wanna know what you guys think. If you updated, that your issues go away. I want to thank you for watching this video. This is Ray and I'm out of here. Later guys.